Welcome. This is Principles of Macroeconomics, ECHO 103.50. This class is great fun. We're all looking forward to the semester. Now, what is economics? What do economists study? Economists sometimes get criticism because it studies just about everything. We look at the American Economic Review, which is the premier journal of the profession. Recent issues included articles on college and upward mobility. Exactly what we're doing here. Industrial policy, deflation and inflation, interest rates, technology transfer, privacy protection, cities, why cities exist, how they transfer knowledge, how patents relate to the Human Genome Project, regulation of banks, how businesses put items on sale and change prices over the business cycle, the return on investment in childcare, medical device innovation, climate change impacts on poor farmers, fracking to get more oil and natural gas, restaurant food safety, school choice, diversity at colleges, honesty among public servants, all sorts of different things. Whether insurance, healthcare, crime, education, environment, poverty, discrimination, job choice, immigration, crypto, voting, company structures, labor policy, vaccinations, unions, financial aid, trade, development, public works, fertility, taxation, finance, you name it. Economics studies all of it. It's a really big field. Now, macroeconomics, what is macroeconomics? It's typically contrasted with microeconomics. Macro is the big stuff. Why is there such variation in living standards across places? Why are some countries poor while other countries are rich? And then, why is there such variation in living standards among people in the same country? Why are some people so poor and some people so rich? And why is there variation in living standards across time, whether it's looking across centuries or year to year? People get richer or poorer over time. I want to understand why. We compare a couple hundred years ago when basically everybody was poor, contrasted with modern times when so many folks are much wealthier. We can compare year to year. Why are there recessions? Why inflation? Which leads to the next questions. How can we make policies that can affect all these big questions about variation in living standards? Macro is the really big, deep questions. Now, a question a lot of people ask is, will this help me make money? Perfectly reasonable question about your personal economic situation. An early lesson in economics, and yeah, life generally, is if it were easy, everybody would do it. Economics is not easy, but you should be happy about that because that's part of what ensures there's a return on your investment. The fact that everybody cannot do it. Some people can do it. You're here because you can learn to do it. But in terms of will this help me make money, well, to make money, you really need an edge. You need something that other people haven't got. Legendary investor Howard Marks writes often about what he calls second level thinking. His edge, and he's a billionaire, so he's done pretty well with that edge. His edge starts from considering what's common knowledge and then thinking through the second level. What is the common knowledge leaving out? What is everybody else not thinking about? If you want to replicate that, if you want to follow his advice about second level thinking, step one is you got to learn what's common knowledge. And that's what this class is helping you to provide. It applies to other classes as well. You'll learn about what is general knowledge shared by lots of well-informed people. Then you can progress to the second level, asking what people are missing out on seeing. But macroeconomics, cool, great topic studies the really big questions. Why are some people or places or times so rich while other people, places, times are so poor? And then looks at what policies can help create more wealth in all of those areas. It's a great topic. Let's get going.